That's right, yeah, and tonight was the first sunset before 7 o'clock in quite a while. It happened at 6.59, so close enough. Hey, check out your downtown sky cam right now. Beautiful shot. Notice it's not blowing around much. Wind's pretty tranquil out of the north, generally less than 10. Temperature at 64 degrees, not much humidity today. It was a very nice day to be outside. Check out this shot from Ryan Mott. Send it on my Facebook page. Colorful shot of downtown Des Moines and some neat reflections down there on the river, too. Thanks, Ryan, for that one. You're going to notice a bit of a chill in the air as we start things out for Friday. 52 degrees as you wake up tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. just 56. We're going to start the day with sunshine, but as we head throughout the day, we'll notice an increase in cloud cover as a system actually from the east starts to pull in a few of those clouds with afternoon highs tomorrow right around 70 degrees. Notice today it was a pretty clear day. We saw that sunshine, but just out to the East, actually, we're seeing some clouds that are going to start to filter on in as we head throughout the next 12 to 24 or so hours. But the bigger news down to the south is things are pretty quiet around here with Hurricane Matthew. It's a weak hurricane right now at 75 miles an hour sustained wind speeds. And notice as we head throughout time here by Saturday into Sunday and eventually early next week, this track has it. Uh, uh, going across um, Cuba in some portions of that area, and it should miss Florida as it heads back out into the Atlantic, making landfalls a Category 2 storm down around Cuba. We'll keep an eye on that for you. Notice this system retrograding, pushing back to the east, bringing some clouds along with it for the day on Friday and into the weekend. Could also be talking about a few chances for sprinkles, too, in your forecast. Let's track things out. We're starting things out Friday. Notice how we start the day uh, clear and dry as we head throughout the morning morning hours, but by the afternoon, more of those clouds start to filter in, especially after noon time, and it'll be a general increase from east to west, and that's pretty atypical. Usually, we see these systems roll in from the west to east. Not quite the case with this one. Notice around football Friday night tomorrow, mostly cloudy evening, but I think most of the rain stays east of the state. Any rain that we get on Saturday or even Sunday would be very light, mainly off to the east of I-35. Going to be a chilly night tonight, just 51 here in the metro. You get outside of town, upper 40s for lows. Fort Dodge and Algona could be flirting with the mid 40s. 51 here in town, winds out of the north at 5 to 10. Tomorrow, a bit of a cool day, 70 degrees, mostly cloudy, but nice. Eight day forecast, if you like those, I guess, fall like temperatures, they're going to be sticking around a few days. Dry for the weekend, temperatures right around 70. Monday, back in the mid 70s, rain should hang uh, out of the picture until next Wednesday and a Thursday with highs staying pretty fall like.